and welcome from the Industry of Things World Asia here in Singapore. I'm here with Yasuyuki Nishioka from the Industrial Value Chain Initiative. Hi Yasuyuki and hey, welcome to the conference. Hi. First of all, I would like to ask you to quickly introduce yourself and your background. I'm Yasuyuki Nishioka from IVI Industrial Value Chain Initiative. I'm founder of the uh, organization. So I'm very interested in the smart manufacturing, especially how to converts the digital world and the physical world in the manufacturing reality. So that's why I came here to make this conference. So this morning you held your keynote presentation mm -hmm. uh, about uh, smart manufacturing in Japan. Mm -hmm. Can you please give me a few more insights into what you talked about? Yes, uh, manufacturer in Japan is very interested in the how to push forward in the field of the digitalization, but they don't know about how they to the next stage. So we 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 promote the important thing is the connect connectivity or connected industries, where the one company cannot do by themselves but get together to make cooperation. So we provide uh, how. Uh, we provide the architecture on the, how to manage such a collaboration uh, where the smart manufacturing will be. If we look at the Asian and specifically the market in Japan, uh, how do you see that the Industry 4.0 is creating a big impact? Yes, uh, especially the manufacturing industry will have uh, many big impact because so far manufacturing not for focus on the IT, only for the, the automation. But uh, industry 4.0 looking for more and more management layer or enterprise layer who have to connect with each other or more intelligent manufacturing. So they are very have an uh, impact so they have to prepare to the next era. What do you see as the main challenges of Industry 4.0 and the technologies that are bringing along? Mm, it is difficult, but uh, first of all, they have to care about the knowledge they already have, and the knowledge have, will have a value, so they put knowledge to the value by connected each other, not only inside the manufacturers, but uh, across uh, enterprise. So uh, in order to do that, they have to define their own knowledge by the digital technology or application in the software. But it is very difficult right now. So that's the point, I think. If we think about the near term future, let's say two to three years, how do you see the IoT space evolving? Right now, the big company trying to make more and more digitalized, but for the SME, small medium sized manufacturer, is not good at right now. So in the three, uh, three years, maybe SME uh, catch up to the digital technology, and then after that, they many strong SME will put more more power, so that I think it will be a very good situation in the future. Do you mind sharing some insights on the most interesting and exciting projects you currently work on at the Industrial Value Chain Initiative? Uh, yes, uh, especially in the big company dealing with uh, data by the artificial intelligence or knowledge creation approach, they can more value creation. On the other hand, SME try to make more cheaper and uh, reasonable approach using some the small edge computing and sensor technology combined by themselves and get the data uh, in the factory and make the good management by themselves. That it will be a very good situation in Japan. My last question would be if you have, what are your expectations from the conference and what are you hoping to take away from these two days here? Yes, so this conference is very good at, for make a collaboration and networking 
even not only the company, but cross the company, cross the region, and manufacturer, and other industries, and IT vendors, and manufacturing industry. So that's a very good uh, environment. So we have to, we hope we get something for the future. Well, thank you very much for your thank time you. and your insights, and I wish you a great rest of the day here. Thank you.